This is Seven National News and in our top business story, Dubai currently stands tall among real estate capitals in the world for investors seeking income generating properties. That's according to Knight Frank Consultancies. According to a recent statement, officials said that with price falls continuing to outpace rental value declines, initial yields are rising, reaching more than 7% in rental yields in the mainstream property segment. It was added that prices have fallen by 12% in the mainstream segment over the last 12 months to June 2015, driven by a projected excess supply. However, the magnitude of decline in prime residential prices was 4.5% in the year to June 2015. In-demand areas are mostly in the prime segment, including villas, townhouses and apartments in the Palm, Emirates Hills, Dubai Marina and downtown areas. The consultancy added that Dubai and Abu Dhabi will remain the focus for most activity in the region. Investors, developers and governments here are counting on the potential economic growth in both cities, led by a forecasted 20% increase in the UA population by 2030. Dubai Festival City Mall's 400 million US dollar expansion is expected to be completed by June next year and will add 20% more area to the existing 2.4 million square foot mall and increase the store's tally to 420. According to the mall management, the expansion project is about 70% complete and the investment will create a 300 meter long waterfront promenade with 22 restaurants opening up by early next year. An open air 500,000 square foot platform will be set up on reclaimed land from the marina in the next two months, which will also cost an estimated 8 million US dollars. Officials also added that 35 stores were inaugurated in the mall since May this year, and another 15 will be opened by December the 2nd. At present, the mall has leased 85% of its retail space, with ongoing negotiations to fill the remaining outlets. The senior marketing manager of Dubai Festival City Mall said that the mall's location on the creek, easy access and trouble-free parking are just some of the factors that distinguish the Dubai Festival City Mall. We are actually the only mall on Dubai Creek. And if you keep in mind what is happening currently to Dubai Creek in terms of its expansion in a um, horseshoe shape, uh, you can imagine that this, this is and will continue to be uh, one of the prime locations for family entertainment or uh, friends and everyone really to find a place where you have a comprehensive offering to be able to spend your day, be it by way of FMB, be it for shopping, be it for entertainment and leisure. The other reason that we are expanding is, I guess, uh, to accompany Dubai in its uh, vision of growth. Expansion has started about a year ago. We had uh, completed about 70% of the um, expansion within our main uh, atrium, which we refer to as Festival Square. And as a matter of fact, a couple of days ago, just at, by the occasion of Eid, we have opened our full Festival Square all the way uh, to the Marina. The second phase will be completed around end of quarter one, beginning quarter two of next year, whereby we would have completed all the expansion along the north and south end of the mall. There we start our third phase, which will involve um, a bit of a surprise, which is uh, what will possibly be the largest department store in Dubai by space. Expats in the Middle East are the highest earners globally, according to a new survey, according to an annual HSBC report conducted online by polling company YouGov. The UAE, Qatar, Bahrain and Oman were among the top 10 most popular destinations for expats to relocate, while the UAE jumped six places to become the ninth best destination, up from 15th place in last year's survey. In the UAE, 31% of those polled were British expats, with another 30% coming from India and Pakistan. 
Bahrain ranked as the Gulf's most popular destination for expats who think it's a better place to bring up children than anywhere else in the region. Expats believe that it is the fourth best place to relocate in the world, behind Singapore, New Zealand and Sweden. 91% of consumer electronics survey respondents made a major electronics purchase over the last 12 months, with smartphones topping their shopping list. That's according to the latest survey conducted by Plugins, who announced the results of their fourth edition of consumer electronics survey. The online report gathered responses from 2,450 people from 59 nationalities over a period of just two weeks. According to management, the survey looked at four key CE categories, including smartphones, TVs, laptops and tablets, and for the first time, wearable devices. They also added that the survey provides useful insights about UA residents' shopping habits and patterns, through which they hope to uncover information that can help better understand the pulse of the market. They also believe that insights derived from the survey can help shape marketing and commercial strategies in order to further improve overall customer experiences at the stores. Some of the key findings from the survey was that 91% of respondents made a major electronics purchase over the last 12 months with smartphones, as we mentioned earlier, topping their shopping list with 69%, followed by TVs at 36%, laptops 32%, tablets 29%, cameras 18% and wearable devices 11%. The survey also revealed that the average annual UA household spend on electronics fell slightly from the previous survey and stood at 4,000 dirhams. Additionally, Samsung is still the market leader in the market with 41%, followed by Apple 36% in the smartphone category, together accounting for 77% of the UA market. The majority of respondents at 84% said that they do not currently own a wearable device. However, 52% did say that they will be looking to buy a gadget this year.